Man, what's going on, y'all, man? Welcome to Relating with Josh. Guys, if this is your first time over here to the channel, definitely make sure you show the channel some love. I definitely would appreciate that. All right, so what I want to talk about today is getting too comfortable with women is an attraction killer. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is one of the main reasons that caused me a lot of trouble throughout my 20s. Um, getting too comfortable with women. Um, you don't even realize it's happening. It just over time it kind of happens and then when you realize it it's kind of too late so i got some key points that you can pay attention to so let's go ahead and get right into it so number one would be you stop displaying the same energy you did in the beginning i know for me when i was dealing with women at first you would come off like you that dude like you an alpha you hard that you got your itch together and i don't just mean like physically having your own crib and stuff but i'm talking about up here too and what happens is over time you start to become lazy with that energy. You start to become a little bit more needy. And the thing is, like I said, this happens slowly over time because especially like when you're dealing with these feminine women, you need to really be in your masculine for real and I'm about that life because what's gonna happen is over time, you turn to more of a feminine energy instead of being all the way in your masculine. So now she's the one that kind of has to lead it because you all the way in LA and La La Land. I'm saying and she's still here so i think for us dudes we get out that you know what i'm saying we, we're no longer mysterious we're not in the present moment you're not displaying the same energy like you did in the beginning and that's a killer that killed me for years because at first i'll come off as oh man that's a confident dude but what happens is if you're not really confident your insecurities is going to start to come out from left field right field top field everywhere so that's number one right there you, you stop displaying the same energy that you did in the beginning. And like I said early on, it happens slowly over time. So you don't even really know what's happening until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Number two, men, so us men, we're naturally routine type of people. And what happens is you become routine with your women. So like I just mentioned in the first point where you not keeping the same energy, this kind of piggybacks off of that. So early on, you know what I'm saying? You're doing different things, you know what I'm saying? You might go bowling, y'all might hit an amusement park, you might have went to a wine tasting, but then for six, seven straight weeks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just kicking in at the crib, kind of doing the same thing. And I know that for me, I used to do that a lot because you feel like, man, I got her. You know what I'm saying? When we feel like we didn't lock somebody, we feel like the work has to stop, but you gotta keep going and keep dating that person. You know what I'm saying? You can't get too caught up in what you did last week. Now, it's cool to kick it in the crib for a couple weeks, da 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 da. That's cool and fine, but at the same time, that can't be the go to every time. Because then what happens? A woman's going to get bored. And what happens when she gets bored? She's going to go look elsewhere. And then she leaves you, and you didn't even realize it. It's because us men, we're naturally bred to be routine. Because we're about discipline, you know, sacrifice, and things of that nature. So that's number two right there. You got to pay very close attention to how spontaneous you are being. And don't get caught up in being in a routine with the woman. Because she's going to get bored and then she's going to leave. Alright, number three. This one is a big one right here. You kind of stop hanging out with your friends and you stop having hobbies. So usually how this comes about is because, you know, I and like I said, all this I can speak about personally. A lot of times a woman will be like, I need more time or we don't spend enough time or, you know what I'm saying, you're always with your friends or you're always with your hobbies, you're always doing this. And what happens as guys, when we hear that, you naturally, what you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna stop hanging around with your friends, they're gonna hit you up, you're gonna kinda ignore them or kinda give them an excuse. You're gonna stop going to the gym, you're gonna stop doing all your hobbies that you normally do, all because now you're making her your purpose. But the thing is, if she leaves you, you ain't going to have nothing versus if you continue your hobbies and you actually have a life. That's what she liked about you in the beginning. Going back to my point I made in the beginning, you got to keep that same energy all the way through. You know what I'm saying? And that includes your hobbies and your friends, because when you're in a situation with somebody, you need that time away from each other because that makes the relationship grow. And everything grows versus if you're with her all the time, that's boring. You know what I'm saying? So that's why all these points that I just made, they tie in together because these are things that happen slowly over time. At once upon a time, you know what I'm saying? I was going to the gym five times a week, 
But then when I'm with her, now I go two times a week. Now I go one time a week. So you got to pay close attention to keep your same, the same life you had before. Keep it while you with somebody. Keep the same energy. Keep your same hobbies. Because if not, the woman doesn't want, she doesn't, she doesn't want that. She wants the guy that she met, you know what I'm saying, five months ago. The guy that had all these hobbies, the guy that hung out with his friends, the guy that, you know what I'm saying, portrayed confidence. You know what I'm saying? That's who she wants. Not the guy that's insecure, the guy that's needy, the guy that has no friends, because now that's who you became. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, that's my video for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'm gone.